Hi everyone and thanks for visiting today. This card was made using the latest sketch app Freshly Made Sketches and I thought I'd show you how I created the window in the front. So I'm using the inside out stitched squares dies by My Favourite Things and I've taken four pieces of post-it note and I have die cut those. Now this is my first mistake because um, as you'll see later, um, the post-it paper is not thick enough for this uh, technique to work. So I'd recommend using some cardstock with a bit of temporary adhesive on the back instead. But I thought I'd leave this in anyway so you can get the basic idea. So I have taken a, uh, a centering ruler and... Um, I've marked it where the centre of the card panel is and I've just put a wee mark there and, and ruled a line across the top which is where I want the top of the opening to be. So I then accidentally deleted the footage, so mistake number two, but you can you get the idea. I've used the four post-it notes to mark where I want the window and I actually used my ruler to measure um, where they were and the die is meant to slot over the post-it note and sort of slide into place um, but as you'll see it it's not getting enough grip there's not the the post-it paper is not thick enough so I had to sort of guess a little bit but if I had have used cardstock it would have worked much better so I left it in there so you can sort of get the general idea of what I was trying to do so now I'm going to do some ink blending and create a beach scene. So I'm just putting some temporary adhesive on the back of some basic copy paper, marking off where I want my C element to be. And I'm using some Salty Ocean Distress ink onto a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm just not terribly carefully sponging some ink onto the panel. Then I will move my top layer. Now it's not sticking anymore because the ink's still wet so I'm just using a bit of purple tape to get that to stick and I'm just using some tumbled glass ink to depict the sky. It's very very simple all I want to do is give the idea the impression of a beach scene um, so now I'm using the other side of the torn strip to do my sand with some antique linen ink and I'm just sponging that now you see I've left a little bit of blue showing, um, just so you don't get those white lines. I'd rather have a little bit of overlap than have a white gap between the two ink colours. So, sponging on some antique linen ink, and where I ripped the paper, there's actually, um, it actually has left a little bit of white. So I'm just taking my scissors and just trimming that area off before I go back over with the ink to uh, cover up that white spot. So that's my uh, beach scene. Put my window back on to see how it's going to look through the window. And I'm now taking a, a splotchy pattern uh, stamp from the Distress Pattern set by My Favourite Things. And I'm just going to put my mask back down there again and then just stamp that all over the sand to give it a bit of texture. And I'm using the same ink colour, so it's tone on tone, but it just adds a little bit of texture and interest. So now I'll remove the mask and then I'm going to stamp some birds in the upper left hand corner. This is from the Hero Arts My Monthly Kit from June 2018. And it just adds a little bit of interest. Now in hindsight I probably stamped them a little bit too high up because they're going to be hidden by the window frame. Um, but I have a solution to that near the end. So I've stamped that with black licorice hybrid ink and um, the last step I'm going to do on my uh, seaside scene is actually take a white gel pen and add in some foam and waves and I've zoomed in quite closely because it's hard to see in the video so I've zoomed in quite a bit so you can actually see what I've done but I just put lots of little dots above and below where the sand meets the sea and it just gives the impression of um, waves 
and then a bit of sea foam. So the um, the trick is don't overthink it. I just went for it, dot 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 dot, and then on the for the waves, I um, just did a couple of dots and a squiggle, or and a squiggle and a couple of dots. Um, it's really nothing needs to be perfect. It's just giving the impression of moving water. I also made a point to go off the edge of the card on both sides and um, that's it, easy as, and quick as that. So I'll just take away that masking tape and I only put that down there just to, um, so I could move the board as I needed to, um, nothing, nothing, no other reason. So here's where I sort of realised that my birds were probably a little bit too far out of frame but um, I will fix that um, in a moment. For the forefront of the card I'm going to use this uh, tree from the uh, Penguins in Paradise set by My Favourite Things. I'm not going to show you the colouring of that. Um, I've, I've listed the colours but I won't show you the colouring. Now with these closed dies I actually um, keep a negative die in with my uh, stamps and dies so that when I go to die cut it I can actually uh, position the negative around the this, this stamped piece and then uh, just slot the die into place and it will give it a nice even frame around the whole image. So I'm just stamping this up with some black licorice hybrid. Again, I'll give it a double stamping just on a scrap of Express It. And I keep all my scraps of Express It, let me tell you. Uh, there it is all coloured. This is, I'm bringing in the negative of the die cut, positioning that where I want it to sit. And I'll tape that down with a bit of tape. And then just pop the die into that gap there. And you can slide it around a little bit and you'll feel it just sit in and, and it, it won't move and you know you've got it in the right place. So I'll go and die cut that and there she is all done. So we're getting near the end now. Um, the um, What I cut out of the video because you can hardly see it and it's such a waste of time is I actually put some of the clouds from the Hero Arts kit into the sky but um, it's so faint that it wasn't even worth the, worth the time. So I'm re-stamping the birds over the top uh, because I used white ink for the clouds. So I'm just stamping those to give them a darker impression again. And then I will bring in the window, the window panel and um, stamp the birds in exactly the same spot. And that brings those birds back again to the forefront of the card. Let's pop that window panel back on top. Ink up again. Stamp it. Oops, move the magnet out of the way. Now this is the extreme black ink that I've just got a little cube of and it is actually lovely, lovely ink. I really like it so I might start using that a bit more. Sentiment, I didn't know what to put for the sentiment so I just decided for something a bit generic so I, I chose a, um, a, a stamp that says just a note from Sugar Pea Designs and I'm just going to stamp that with that same extreme black ink and it only needed one inking to get a rich deep black colour so I, I'm quite impressed with that ink. Now it's time to put the card together and I'm going to use some foam tape to uh, put the window onto the beach scene and just some liquid glue to put the beach scene onto a white card base. So that is pretty much it. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of music to the end. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and I'll catch you next time. See you.